Something that a lot of you might know about me at this point is that I'm really into movement and fitness and exercise. And so when I'm doing new video projects, it always seems to be related to movement. Well, not always, but a lot of the time. I think I'm just naturally lured into meeting up with people who have interests around movement and also it, it looks really good in slow motion. So that's, that's like a big win for me. From MMA to dance, to rugby, and of course yoga. Anything I think might look cool paired with fast beats, I'm down to shoot. A lot of you I imagine are familiar with parkour. It's this kind of edge case movement sport that to be honest I didn't know a whole lot about. And I don't like I still don't, but it's something I've always been curious about. And recently I got a chance to meet someone who's like a parkour athlete here in Limerick. And his name is Khalid and this is kind of how it went down. We have arrived in Limerick City and today we're going to be making a little parkour video. We got Shane on the BTS camera and we've got Khalid who we're going to meet inside there on Cruiser Street. Is the audio still on? It is, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. I want to just intro Khalid. Down, yeah. We got our boy Khalid. Wait, uh. <laughs> <laughs> And so this was going to be like a four hour shoot and we set it up that way because Khalid was going to be doing multiple like backflips on hard concrete and doing this time after time again we wanted to make sure he had plenty of breaks and he could take his time so that basically he didn't overextend himself or push himself beyond his limits and so that's what we did we took plenty of breaks and kind of just chilled our way through it really. And like, how does someone get into parkour? Well, someone like yourself, I guess people get in different ways. I learn everything off, off YouTube. There's tutorial videos everywhere. You just watch it, try it a couple of times, realize you're getting nowhere near it. And then when you watch it the second time, you start understanding, oh, this is what I was doing wrong. One of the shots I really wanted to try in this shoot was this, like we found this cool looking cannon next to King John's castle. And the idea was that Khalid would do a tumble in front of the green screen that we'd lay on the grass. And like the goal would be to try and make him look like he was being fired out of the cannon. And so to make the shot feel a little bit more medieval, I masked out the modern looking museum building, replaced it with a moody grey time-lapse. And then we added Khaled's green screen from the tumble he did on the grass, added in some fiery sparks as a final touch, and, and that's it, mission complete. Move on to the next sequence. So this next part of the video was totally unplanned. We were at the back of King John's castle doing flip well they were doing the flips I was behind the camera and this kid and his mom were behind us kind of watching on from a distance and basically we asked the kid if he'd like to join us and Khalid offered to train him up Khalid's the guy who knows the most about parkour <laughs> Well done. That's pretty cool. Good job, yeah. I think you're quite the parkour athlete. I think you're a bit scared of it at the start, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? See, you just learn bit by bit. Nice one, man. So, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick, and have you done parkour before? Um, occasionally I jump around the sofas, but I've never really done it outside. And in the future, would you like to do more jumping yeah. around? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Has mom jumped around at home as well? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
And I absolutely love that. Like that was my favorite part of the whole shoot. And I think it is, it's the moments like that that happen just randomly, just out of nowhere. And like, how cool did Patrick look flying through the air like that? And Patrick, if you're watching this, which I think you might be because your mom gave me her email to send on the video, you have got a bright future. And I mean that, like keep jumping on those couches, keep jumping around at home, and you're an absolute legend. Good work, sir. The most interesting part of it for me is, is the fear aspect because a lot of people say, oh, just ignore your fear and just commit to it 100%, but your fear is what keeps you safe, basically. So the mental side of it is almost as big of a challenge as the physical side of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure, because uh, most of the moves aren't, aren't physically demanding, they're just like you'll hear all the time people saying it's 80% commitment and 20% technique. Sure. And, and that's, that's what it's about. Because learning the moves is you're going to fail 100%. Like there's no two ways about it. But the only way you're going to progress is by failing. So you just need to put yourself in situations where you're willing to mess the move up. So for me, it was going to the beach, ruffling up some sand, and that was enough for me to say, okay, if I mess up my backflip, I'm going to eat some sand, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine. So this next shot is the wall shot. The goal is to have Khalid do some different parkour moves against the same wall, and then make it seem in the edit afterwards that all the moves are happening at once. hat on you somehow yeah. and then as the final one you kind of walk over throw the hat at the lens sure oh uh, yeah but hitting the camera is going to be tough. yeah that's why you make it as, as easy as well actually And at this point in the video, you might be wondering, like, what are we trying to do here? What's the main goal? We wanted to make a parkour action sequence that would seem like it's flowing from one move to another, as if it's part of the same scene. Okay, three, two, one, go! That about wraps up our parkour video. We've been at it for about two, two and a half hours now. Yep. Started off a little bit shaky, it was raining this morning and we had to postpone it by like an, an hour or two hours. And uh, yeah, I feel like you're pretty tired after all that. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry for uh, dragging you out for multiple shots. But, uh, <laughs> no, see how we did it is, uh, and you'll see, in, you've seen in the behind the scenes is, like each take, it takes about three or four or five or six or seven takes to get each like flip or sequence. Yeah. But that's what it is. And no, I'm super happy with, like I'm really impressed with what you're able to do. And Shane, if I just flip it. He camouflages as a videographer, but what he really is is a parkour athlete. And no, super impressed with you, Shane, as well. Um, we had a little bit of a, an incident there towards the end. So the incident was, we were flying the drone, like I had a plan to fly the drone underneath Shane. Oh sorry, Khalid's too tired at this point. That's why Shane has stepped up and he's doing the parkour now. Uh, because I've flat out just burned uh, Khalid's energy <laughs> from all the retakes. 
But I try and fly the drone under Shane's feet, like get him to jump over it. And then the idea is that the drone will then fly off and pan around to King John's and that will be the ending. But the sensors are on on the drone. And so when Shane tries to jump over the first time, the drone just kind of stops because that's, that's just how the sensors work. And so I switched off the sensors on the drone, not knowing that when you do this, for some reason, the safety mode deactivates and the drone flies like 10 or 12 miles faster, miles an hour faster than it was before. So Shane, not being used to this new, new speed, he wasn't able to, to gauge how fast the drone would come at him and the drone just whacked into his shin. <laughs> it just went full force. And he had a big bruise after it. And I felt bad. I felt bad about that. But he's all right now and, and I paid the price ultimately. We, we lost a drone battery into the river. Thank you so much for watching the video. This one meant a lot, honestly, because it was the first time I'd kind of brought along another cameraman to film the behind the scenes. And yeah, I was really happy with, with how that turned out. Like Shane caught some really good bangers and honestly just helped tell the behind the scenes story of, of what happened at the shoot. If you did like the video, I do plan making more of these kind of ones where I'm giving a little bit more context into how the videos are made. So yeah, follow along and, and subscribe if you want to see something more like this. And other than that, thanks so much for watching and take care.